there's got to be a need that you're fulfilling, right? The, it's really not about it. It's really not about hey, I'm inventing something whiz bang necessarily. You know, and from an innovation standpoint, it's really you have to fill a need to have a market in which you can actually succeed and grow. Yes, but and I think that within the world of education, the question is more: Are we creating space for kids to innovate and be creative? And as we watch our arts programs disappear from the K-12 realm, we have to figure out a way to solve that. Um, uh, what I'm seeing, and I'm seeing some exciting trends in K-12, but I have some nervousness about what it looks like at the university level. The idea of, of why, why entrepreneurship is, is important um, is because there are so many social problems, hence why we're having this conference and we have all these various sectors represented, um, is because now more and more so I think, I think the private sector is really, there's a need to work more with the education system. One of the things that we find in, with, in conversation with almost everybody we talk to is they're not asking for more data. They're asking for help making sense of data that they currently have. So <clears throat> very you know, surface level, we say it's, it's a small data approach to big data problems. In a position to say that you know, we started a business, but we actually work with inventors and entrepreneurs who are trying to, to start businesses. Um, this year, our clients have uh, raised over $4 million in finance based on some of the commercial property that we've uh, been able to acquire for them. That is, we, we need to be more coaches than teachers, right? Um, that we need to see ourselves as, as mentors, role models, but on the sideline, um, just more spending a lot more of our energy facilitating their ideas and just getting the heck out of the way. Um, so this year we decided, let's give them the real world experience. We use a, a methodology called Lean Startup, and so we try to go out and sell things before we build them. So we sold a, a concept, basically, it's not even a product yet, to three customers, to three of our clients. They paid to fund this project. And rather than say, you know, the interns, you're gonna help us out this summer, we pulled them in on day one and said, this is your business. We're here as your advisors. If you want our help, ask for it. Otherwise, figure it out. At the end of the summer, if you have a product for us to take and deliver to these three customers, we'll give you significant equity stake in the business and you dictate how involved you wanna be when you go back to school. If you fail, so what? You're getting some great experience out of it, and you know we'll take over and figure out how to get it done. But it's blown my mind in the first couple of weeks to see how these kids are stepping up and doing things that I never would have been able to see if they would have come in and said every day, Zach, what do you want me to do for you today? The world is moving too fast, and if you don't have that nimbleness, we're not gonna, it's gonna be really difficult. Even if you're not an official entrepreneur and still working in a corporation, you still need that agility. 